Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Aptive webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enable and configure users for SMS based authentication in Azure Active Directory. To simplify and secure sign in to applications and services, Azure Active Directory provides multiple authentication options. SMS based authentication lets users sign in without providing or even knowing their username and password. After their account is created by an identity administrator, they can enter their phone number at the sign in prompt. They will receive an authentication code via text message that they can provide to complete the sign in process. This authentication method simplifies access to applications and services especially for frontline workers. Keep in mind that SMS based authentication isn't currently compatible with Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication. Except for Teams, SMS based authentication isn't compatible with native Office applications. It is also not recommended for B2B accounts. In this video, we will see the steps to enable SMS based authentication for selected user in Azure Active Directory for testing purpose. Let's sign in to the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com On Azure Active Directory portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. First, let's enable SMS based authentication for our Azure Active Directory tenant. Under Manage, click on Security. Under the Manage menu, select Authentication Methods. We will reach on Policies page. From the list of available authentication methods, select Text Message. You can choose to enable SMS based authentication for all users or select specific users and groups. We will only enable SMS based authentication for a test user too for testing purpose. Let's toggle the value to yes under enable to enable SMS based authentication. Set target to selected users. Click on add users or groups link. Then select a test user or group such as test user 2. You can also select group from the list as well. Let's select test user 2. Click on select. Confirm that test user 2 is listed under target. At bottom, click on save to enable SMS based authentication for test user 2. Let's click on save and wait for the confirmation message. We receive the message. The policy was successfully saved. User is now enabled for SMS based authentication, but the phone number must be associated with the user profile in Azure Active Directory before they can sign in. The user can set this phone number themselves in my account, or you can assign the phone number using the Azure Active Directory portal. Phone numbers can be set by global admins, authentication admins, or privilege authentication admins. When a phone number is set for SMS sign-in, it is also then available for use with Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication and self-service password reset. So let's specify the phone number for our user test user 2. Again, click on Azure Active Directory. Under Manage, click on Users. Select the user you enabled for SMS based authentication, in our case, test user 2. 
on test user 2 profile page select authentication methods and the user's phone number including the country code the azure portal validates the phone number is in correct format you can also specify alternate phone number the phone number must be unique in your azure active directory tenant to apply the phone number to a user's account, click on Save. Here we can see the confirmation message successfully updated Test User 2's authentication method. So we have successfully enabled SMS based authentication for our user Test User 2. We also want to test that. To confirm it, open a new in private window. For that, I am going to click on these three dots and select new in private window. Type URL https colon double slash my account dot microsoft dot com. Press enter key. At the sign in prompt, this time and the phone number associated with the user. After entering the phone number, click next. A text message is sent to the phone number provided at a sign-in screen. To complete the sign-in process, enter the six-digit code provided in the text message at the sign-in prompt. Let's enter the six-digit code here. 237083. After entering the code, click on sign in. Since this phone number is assigned to multiple accounts, here I can see the option to pick an account to continue. I'll select account for our MSFT webcast tenant, and here we can see the user's name, user2 at msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com. Let's click on that account to continue. We can see that the user test user 2 is now sign in without the need to provide a username or password. So we can confirm that the SMS based authentication is working fine for Azure Active Directory user account named test user 2. And that we can see here test user 2 and this is his username. So that concludes the video on how to enable and configure users for SMS based authentication in Azure Active Directory using the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.